This is the most 2020 thing ever. Is this like actual nice weather we're getting? Hello you guys, welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm still getting used to this watch thing. It's like, it'll buzz randomly or it'll make a noise and I just, I don't know what that means. I closed my rings for the first time yesterday and it was making all sorts of crazy noises and I was like, I don't know what this is doing on my wrist. Today is the start of Christmas week, so I'm so excited. We have a couple of things we need to accomplish today. First of all, I have some packages that I need to still send. Um, I filming a video yesterday of my closet cleaning now I'm sort of doing this whole challenge where I'm basically gonna be testing which apps are best for selling clothing these are all of the hangers from the clothing that I am definitely getting rid of which is such an accomplishment there's just a lot of stuff that didn't suit me anymore you know now it is almost 10 I'm gonna have some coffee and do a little bit of video work and yeah we should hopefully be able to get everything done by then Oh my god, do you guys know that feeling when you just get into a really good workflow? I have been so productive today. I mean, I just finished scripting not one, not two, but three videos for my YouTube channel. I think like, I definitely need to get some exercise today. I gotta close my rings, you know? But it's like 1.30 right now. As you can see, I am still in my pajamas. So let's go ahead and change, get out of my house on the prairie braids, and get some exercise. All right, y'all, this is my quick little workout outfit. Um, I literally wore this yesterday, but I wasn't vlogging, so eh, who's counting? I just have a long burned orange sweatshirt on from my spirit group that I was in. These leggings, which I got like two years ago from Boohoo, they're still one of my favorites. We're just gonna toss some tennis shoes on when we get downstairs, so I'll talk to you guys after. Afterwards. So it is 11.37. It is so late. I was gonna listen to like some educational podcast, something, something for my brain, but I think I have overworked myself for today. I've been learning about investing today and SEO, just in YouTube videos. I actually have a little something called a learning journal. Basically, anytime I find YouTube videos with informational content to them, blogs that catch my attention, so on and so forth, I take Take notes on all of them in this journal and it's really handy because a lot of the time I find such incredible and useful content out there and I don't even remember it so this is perfect I absolutely love it but I think my brain needs to wind down for today so what I'm gonna do instead is read a little bit of the dark disciple before bed I talked about this book in my last vlog but in case you didn't watch it it is basically a Star Wars book that was supposed to be turned into a TV show didn't happen so the the author said I'm gonna do it myself and it's really really good tomorrow is gonna be super exciting because we have our secret Santa for VS pink tonight is really really late I'm gonna go get ready for bed but I'll talk to you beautiful people tomorrow morning good morning you guys happy Tuesday I just turned on our little Christmas star over here. Anyway, I got pretty good news this morning. Since I won't be a campus rep in the spring for a couple of reasons. I mean, I graduated, I'm starting a new job. So it's kind of been a big weight on my chest, this idea of like, oh my gosh, who's it gonna be? Um, am I gonna have enough time to train them and make sure that they're ready? But I got the message today that, that they're setting up an interview with the new girl. So I'm so excited. It is such a relief off my chest. I feel like I can, <sighs> Take a deep breath finally. It is 10 a.m. I was supposed to leave for a run an hour ago I'll be honest. I was caught up on TikTok. We all have been there before so I'm gonna go work out and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit Quick little bit before I 
got to go get some real work done. I really like how simple this outfit is, honestly. I'm just wearing this sweater, which I got last year at Bershka. Then I am wearing it with these black leggings. I'm pretty sure these are from H&M. I have this three-piece necklace set. I got it from Amazon. I'll link the seller down below. Sorry, I look crazy right now. I'm kind of trying to get a bunch of stuff done. I might have to ask my co-rep to push it back a little bit because my brother has a paper due tomorrow, has not started it at all, and quite frankly, I don't understand how he's doing online school, just between me and you. So I am in a bit of a rush. I have a pink call in like five minutes. I just put a little RM Co in my hair. RM Co high dive has just been my savior. It gets me through every bad hair day. My hair is literally dead right now. The ends are fried. I haven't used a good shampoo on it in weeks, but I'm just really trying to go very gently through my hair with my wet brush. I'm gonna dry though because I have five minutes to get ready and I need to still send a Zoom code for it. So I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, this is the most 2020 thing ever. Just me, you know, doing my makeup on Zoom, no biggie. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I just opened my secret bag. Oh no, they look amazing. Remind me to never work out again. Then I'm tired and all I want is coffee. It's 4 p.m. and I can't have coffee. I just straight up forgot where my mouth was on my face. Makeup done. We're gonna go do things. I don't know what we're doing yet. We're doing things. All right, so I stepped outside and it was actually kind of cold. So I decided to change into this instead. Can somebody start like an Austin blog? Talks about how to dress and shop for Austin weather because I've been here for almost eight years and I have not figured it out. you guys it is 12 a.m right now which is why i look a little sleepy and dead inside um i wanted to show you guys what my secret santa got me i was the secret santa for the other campus rep sierra and sh i got her these little like gold earrings that i kept seeing on tiktok my secret santa was macy who is our team's trendsetter so she got me this little milk frother and she it was so sweet she literally wrote like a personal note with it i'm gonna put this away because it's super late i need sleep and with that i'll talk to you guys in the morning to haul for you guys. I have a lot to get done today, so I'm kind of gonna run through this. I apologize. The first thing that I got is this Nioxin treatment kit. I basically picked this one because step two is supposed to be for hair that is natural, but it tends to be on the thinner side. It includes a shampoo, conditioner, and I believe, and a scalp and hair treatment. So I'm gonna give this a shot. It was about like $45, I think, for the whole kit. So definitely a little bit pricey. I got smaller sizes so I can try it out, see if it even works, rather than be wasteful and buy a full thing of something I might not use. Next, I got a continuous setting mist duo from Morphe. I just really like their holiday packaging. So I went for this one. They have a ton of others. It comes with a travel size and a full size. So I can kind of have one in my makeup bag and then another that I like leave at my apartment or something like that. Then I got a living proof PhD dry shampoo little gift box like this. This was actually a pretty good deal because normally the full size is about $23 I want to say and you get a mini travel size and a full size which is perfect. This is like the only dry, well not the only but it's probably the most reliable dry shampoo for my hair which is really really nice. I also got one of these Real Techniques brushes. I really really like them. I purchased a bunch of them in the past but it's a custom complexion brush so basically you can pick the length of the actual brush. It has a little slider thing on the side so you can adjust it. 
I really like this because it, I use a stick foundation, so sometimes making the weight what I need for that day can be a little bit tricky. This one kind of gives me a ton of options. It's basically three brushes in one. And on the topic of brushes, one of these, which is always in that really cute packaging. Unfortunately, it's a little squished, but it was the last one, so I was like, okay, I'll take it. And this is the Morphe Brush Lust brush set, which is fantastic. I have some other Morphe brushes that I've been using for a while, but they're a little small for how I do my current eyeshadow look. As you can tell, those are all kind of on the bigger side as far as makeup brushes go. That is just fantastic. And the packaging is really cute too. I always love some good packaging for my brushes. So that was just a really, really quick mini in the vlog haul. I feel like I've been talking a bunch today. So that's kind of how that's going. Um, I have a huge bag of other stuff that I've purchased for gifts. A couple of things from Pink that I bought last week that I didn't even unpack yet. Let's get to it and let's make today productive. All right, you guys, the unthinkable stroke of luck has struck me today and I actually got a hair appointment for 2.30. My mom just texted me that traffic is awful today, so I need to get rolling. I'm gonna ask for about two inches off I'm thinking like maybe about that much shorter maybe so far I haven't had a terribly bad haircut in my life having a bad one right before the holidays is a whole new level of it that's what we're going for today I'm taking my new forever 21 bag here I actually really like their bags this one is like a really thin leatherette let's grab our keys sunglasses mask and get this haircut done. All right, here's the hair. I'm really digging it, you guys. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually better than what I was going for. Originally, I came in thinking, okay, I'm gonna make my normal straightened hair this length, but then, you know, I was like, hmm, long hair is just kind of cute for Christmas. We're just gonna go with it. So she curled my hair. Obviously it is like very, very curly cause she just did it. So. But I like it. I think it's a look. I have not curled my hair in a ridiculously long amount of time. I usually go for like beach waves. Just not, I'm just not used to seeing it like this. It is 3.36 right now. So I am gonna put on my rich mom glasses as my friends like to tell me we are gonna head into the city i'm a little nervous though because texans legit have their own rules for driving texans have their own speed limits their own road rules their own rules for blinkers and signals and all that good stuff so fingers crossed i get there safely i am gonna put my phone away obviously i will say one thing about my car is that there's no good place for me to just set my camera down and talk talk to you guys in a little bit and yeah let's hope i get there in one piece I just packed up all my stuff that I'm taking back home. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. I had some like storage organizer things that I just like didn't want anymore. So I'm gonna take them home and sell them or donate them somewhere. Cleaned out a few things from my fridge that I thought we could cook at home since I'm not gonna be here for another month still. And that's about it. I am so tired. Let's head to the mailroom, our mask on, and let's get out of here. Hey you guys, happy afternoon and Merry Christmas Eve. I cannot believe we have made it to this point. I legitimately, I don't know how to explain it, but like there were times that I legitimately could not process that Christmas was still happening this year. I mean, it's hardly happening, but it's still happening. I have had such a roller coaster of a day. This morning I wake up after a terrible night's sleep to the dreaded iCloud storage message. And I was just like, are you serious? Because, you know, I pay for like 200 gigs of storage. I'm like, this is literally so ridiculous. So I was deleting like attachments from text messages that I didn't need anymore. I was deleting like videos, random TikToks that I had saved. And ugh, I opened my text messages and iCloud had deleted literally all of my like bigger text groups. So like any of the ones that had a lot of files to them or they were kind of like older than a year, all of those vanished. And I was panicking. I have a really good habit of saving like important stuff from messages. So all that's lost is literally back and forth exchanges really need anyway. So it was a totally like random area of panic. As a matter of fact, I have a ton of friends that like delete all their messages after like 30 days or a year and stuff. And like, that's honestly not a bad policy. Like I don't have a need for old messages. Either way, I was sent into a spiral of anxiety because that's just how anxiety goes sometimes. You know, it's like very hard to process, but thankfully I feel so much better now. Maybe I can try a back 
up later, but I just don't think it's worth like risking deleting everything off my phone and reinstalling it because that's basically what you have to do. So we're letting go of that. But on a positive note, I cleaned up a ton of my room. I actually put in like a new thing in my closet to store things better. And I just feel like my mind is so much clearer. I hid my Christmas gifts under my mirror over here. So I'm gonna put those down overnight. Let's go get ready. Let's put on some makeup. Let's feel cute. And let's get this Christmas spirit going. You know, like 2020 isn't gonna stop Christmas. So let's, let's, let's make this happen. <laughs> So this is the first outfit that I have. The top is from Zara. It's just this really nice like satin button down shirt, a little oversized. I am styling it with this belt from Stradivarius. Obviously it is too loose. I need to poke an extra hole in there. These black faux leather leggings and then my go-to Crocs because they're just so cute and they kind of give me a little lift because everything that I'm wearing now is a little bit more for a tall figure and contrary to popular belief, I am not a tall person. I am actually quite short. Obviously, we can style this without the belt and I kind of like that outfit as well, actually. I'm looking for a gold belt right now that I used to have. I think it would match my golden statement jewelry here quite well. Go ahead and zoom in a little so you guys can see how that looks up close. But I have one more outfit I would love to show you guys, so give me one second to change. All right, you guys, this is outfit number two. Honestly, I really like it, but I don't know if I'm biased just because I could wear this skirt with legitimately anything. Dude, it's just so cute. And I I was kind of between these beige wedges that I have here. I think the black is a little bit more Christmassy. So let's go get mom's approval. Do our makeup very quick because they actually are coming now at 5.30, but that's still not a lot of time. So let's go. And to no one's surprise, I ended up going with outfit number two. Our neighbors are gonna be here in probably like two, three minutes. I think they're running a little late. I fixed my curls a little bit, so I'm hoping they'll last for more than 30 minutes today. And I will talk to you guys a little bit later, probably tonight. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday, which means it is Christmas day. So Merry Christmas, especially to any of you guys who celebrate it. I know this has been such a weird year. I haven't really been able to get into my full Christmas spirit, if you will. It's definitely tiring. I I, I feel exhausted. My family didn't really go to bed until like one in the morning. So we all woke up a little bit later this morning. We haven't opened gifts yet either. Either, but I decided I was in Christmas pajamas, so I don't know. I just kind of was feeling bleh this morning, probably because I slept like four hours. But so I changed into kind of a Christmas sweater. I'll show you guys in a little bit. I've also got these fun merry and bright socks which do not match the pattern of my leggings whatsoever but we're just gonna roll with it it's honestly kind of crazy to think how far we've come this year i was thinking about it because i'm already kind of starting to think about what intentions and goals i want to set for next year but yeah i am about to head downstairs i have a little bit of coffee waiting for me and a slice of panettone which is like italian cake bread that we get every christmas i used to hate them as a kid because i thought that they were so dry but this year it's like really buttery and like a lot sweeter i'll see if we can convince everyone to open their gifts because i am so proud of what i got everyone It is 11 p.m. I'll be honest, today did not go as expected. It was supposed to be just a chill day, watching Christmas movies, going to mass, and unfortunately not a ton of that happened. I will say it was pretty chill though. One of my family is from Poland, where we actually celebrate most of Christmas on Christmas Eve. Christmas day is always nice and peaceful for us. Anyway, this Christmas was honestly pretty great either way, I but it was my first year being able to gift for my family and I love gift giving. Like, if there was literally a job that was just buying gifts for other people, I would love that, like, <laughs> no. But basically what I was saying is this was honestly a really great Christmas, all things aside. I would finally love to get in the car and go see some drive-through light shows at some point. 
before the year ends. Fingers crossed that all works out. But craziness aside, I could not be more thankful for the fact that I get to celebrate such a beautiful holiday with people that mean so much to me. Yeah, with that all being said, I think I'm going to change into my Christmas pajamas, the ones I actually wanted to wear. Merry Christmas, y'all.